This is a bluebreast darter. A native fish to Ohio, the bluebreast darter was first recorded in 1853 from the Yellow Creek near Poland, Ohio. This colorful fish, measuring two and a half to three and a half inches long, can be found in fast moving streams and rivers with rocky bottoms. The males have the brighter green on them. Meet Brian Zimmerman. Another male. Brian, a graduate assistant at The Ohio State University, and his crew of research assistants have been studying the blue breast starter and working to restore the fish where it had been historically found. The stream in Licking County is currently the focus of their research. The project here in the Licking River Basin is to try to reestablish the blue breast darter. Um, this is a species that used to be listed as state threatened in Ohio. Um, actually, if you go far enough back, I think it was actually even state endangered. It sort of has gradually been downgraded. Um, as part of a larger uh, distribution project throughout the state for all Ohio fish species, we were finding these at more and more localities in the state and it's showing a pretty good recovery overall in Ohio. Um, and so as a result of that, it was delisted in Ohio in 2012. Um, we still had three locations where there was a historic record um, where they did not occur. Um, and so because of that, we decided to try to do a reintroduction with them in one of those, um, essentially as a practice for uh, maybe a reintroduction with a more endangered fish. Uh, because this was not listed anymore, it gave us a little more flexibility with how we went about it. Um, and uh, gave us sort of a trial run, if you will, to see if we can do something more with other species in the future. Like miners, panning for gold, the team scours the rocky substrate, kicking up rocks where the darter may be taking shelter. Using a net and an electric shocking element that reminds one of the proton pack from the movie Ghostbusters, the researchers provide a mild dose of electricity, temporarily stunning the fish for capture into the net. Once collected, the darter is observed information is recorded and the fish is returned to the stream. Brian has been studying this stretch of the stream for many months. Each darter, whether a first capture or a released fish, is implanted with an ID chip allowing researchers to track individuals as they move throughout the stream. With this, with this particular system we, we chose the Licking River Basin because there is a historic record for blue breast darter here. Um, it was found here in the late 1800s, uh, so it's been a long time since it has occurred in this area. Um, there is a, a dam on the system, the Dillon Reservoir Dam, which is not going to be removed anytime soon because it's an important uh, recreational lake. Uh, there's a state park there. Um, but that is a barrier to these moving up the system to reach their historic habitat. Um, they have done so on their own in the lower Licking River below the dam. They've actually reestablished a population there and we just needed to help them pass that barrier. Water quality is very important in rivers in Ohio. We, I think we take for granted how much streams have recovered in the state. They're certainly not perfect, but there has been a lot of recovery in Ohio rivers and streams over the last probably 25 to 30 years. A lot of this started with the Clean Water Act and other regulations that went into effect. But I think it's just a, a cumulative effect of societies just taking better care of our waterways over time. And as a result, we've seen not only these fish that people aren't aware of, but even larger sport fish. While the bluebreast darter is no longer a threatened or endangered species, it was delisted in 2012. This presence is a good indicator of overall stream quality. The study and success of the blue breast starter will pave the way for further research on other threatened species.